Okay, today in this tutorial we're going to be doing the quadratic formula proof because one of the algebra standards for Algebra 1 is to know the quadratic formula and you must be familiar with its proof by completing the square. And So that's what I'm going to show you today. First of all, I'm going to start with the standard form of a quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. A, B, and C have to be um, real numbers that are, uh, and A has to be not equal to zero. The first thing that we need to do when we're completing the square is we have to divide everything by the coefficient of x squared. So what that means is to divide everything by A. Everything, both sides. Okay, so once we do that, the A's will cancel out in front of the x squared, so you'll be left with 1x squared plus b over ax plus c over a equals 0 because 0 divided by anything is still 0. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is we want to move that c over a to the other side. So I do that by subtracting c over a from both sides of the equation. So those cancel out, and on the left side I'm left with 1x squared plus b over ax equals negative c over a. Okay, now that I have my equation in this form, I need to add something to both sides. And I want to add it to the left so that I have a perfect square trinomial in the end. And to do that, I have to take the new b term, or the new middle term, which is b over a, and I need to uh, divide it by 2, or in other words, multiply it by 1 half. And I'm doing this over to the side in another color, so this is not related to the equation. Okay, so that gives me b over 2a. And if I'm making it a perfect square trinomial, it has to be, the last term has to be a square. So what I'm going to do is take b over 2a and square it, leaving me with b squared over 2 squared is 4 and a squared. So now I'm going to take that and I'm going to add it, oops, right there. Okay, right after the x, so I have a new c term. And of course, if I'm balancing my equation, anything that I add to one side, I also have to add to the other side. So let's do that right now. And I have x squared plus b over ax plus b squared over 4a squared equals negative c over a plus b squared over 4a squared. So I added that twi one to, once to one side and once to the other side. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the right side of the equation and combine those two fractions to make one big fraction. To do that, I need a common denominator. You'll notice that on the left fraction, there's an a, and on the right fraction, there's a 4a squared. So what they're missing on the left is a 4a. So I'm going to multiply that by 4a. Okay, so what that's going to give me is 4ac on that right side. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite the whole equation now as x squared plus b over ax plus b squared over 4a squared equals... Now that's going to be negative 4ac plus b squared all over 4a squared. Okay, and now we're ready for some factoring. So by completing the square, I made the left side into a perfect square trinomial. So when I factor that, it's going to be a binomial squared. So that's going to be x plus b over 2a squared. And I did that on purpose so that it would factor that way. Okay, now I have the right side. I'm going to switch that b squared to be in front. 
minus 4ac all over 4a squared. So some of you can notice that it's starting to look a little bit familiar to the quadratic formula. All right, now we're ready to solve for x. To get x alone, first of all, I have to square root because I need to get rid of that little squared term. And if I square root one side of the equation, I have to square root the other side of the equation. And hopefully you know that a square and a square root oops, cancel out. So on the left side, I'm left with x plus b over 2a equals. On the right side, when I take a square root, I can have a positive or I can have a negative. So I'm going to make sure that I write that. Po positive or negative, or we say plus or minus. The square root of b squared minus 4ac. And on the bottom, 4 and a squared were perfect squares. So the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of a squared is a. OK. And now we have one step left, pretty much, to solve for x. We need to get x all by itself. So I have to get rid of that b over 2a. So I'm going to subtract b over 2a from both sides. And of course, those cancel out. And on the left side, I have my x all alone equals. And now, of course, those are not like terms, so I'm going to write them separate. Negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. It's almost there, almost the quadratic formula. All we have to do now is combine those two fractions into one. And hopefully you'll notice that they already have a common denominator, which is great because I don't have to change anything. I just have to write it one more time as our final product, which would be x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And that, ladies and gentlemen, would be your quadratic formula. Thanks for listening.